Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 18th of 2021. Well, it is titled the Medulla Nebula Supernova Remnant. So what do we see here? Well, this is the remnant of an exploded star. And when a star explodes, we call that a supernova, nova being a new star and the super meaning an extremely bright star. So an ordinary nova is actually an explosion on the surface of a star uh, that causes an, that a brief increase in brightness. And a supernova is the actual explosion of a star itself. And in this case, it is what we call a type two supernova, which is the explosion of a massive star at the end of its life. Stars generate energy by fusing elements together. They fuse lighter elements into heavier elements, which generates energy. And our star like our sun fuses hydrogen into helium. Now as more massive stars go through their lives they they fuse progressively heavier elements up until they get to a core of iron which becomes unstable. You can't get any energy out of fusing hydrogen atoms together it actually takes energy and that causes an implosion of the core which resulting explodes out the remainder of the star and expels it out into space and that's what we're seeing here. These are the layers of the star being expelled out into space from a supernova that was seen to occur on Earth about 10,000 years ago and has continually expanded out since that time. Now supernovae are the way heavy elements get expelled back out into space for the most part. And in fact, a lot of the elements in your body were probably once part of a supernova explosion. And I should specify when an astronomer says heavy elements, they really mean anything other than hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen and helium were created during the Big Bang, but most heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen were created and expelled out into space during during things like a supernova explosion such as we see here. So this material would slowly expand out into space and would then eventually become part of the seed material for future generations of stars. And after many generations of supernovae, we eventually got to the point where there was enough of these heavier elements, things like carbon, oxygen, iron, and other elements we are familiar with here on Earth to actually form Earth like planets or solid planets. Originally, right after the Big Bang, planets and stars would only have been able to form from hydrogen and helium because that was all that was present. It took several generations of these types of supernovae to be able to finally generate those heavier elements. So many of the atoms that make up your body and everything else that we have here on Earth today were eventually more likely part of a supernova explosion at some point in the distant past. So that was our picture of the day for January the 18th of 2021. It was titled the Medulla Nebula Supernova Remnant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be moon and planets. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.